Hey guys, this is Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we actually drove 24 hours uh, up to Virginia for this Virginia coin show. Um, we're going to actually use our GoPro today to show you guys a few deals that we made and then break down uh, every coin that we got after we got home from the show. So, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. I want to buy some stuff, hopefully. can't sell you anything. Why? Because. Sad. He's, he's running the, he's running the, uh, the, the show, so give Richard a minute, man. What are you, what are you looking for? Uh, 293 cc's there. 293 cc's. You want to pay full, full load on them? I can sell them to you at that. Can I take a look at them real quick? Yeah. Thank you. Man. The new sheets out, they probably uh, all the better day dollars are up. I see them. So, yeah. how about you guys? You finding stuff or you just yeah. can't, you're selling it faster than you can get it? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. You, That's how it works. I, I, we're, we're having the same fun. We're getting a chance to buy some stuff, right? I mean, it's just. Well, I mean, we spent. He, he has a discount and stuff, much. I'm telling you, this, the, the CCs and the better day dollars. Yeah, oh, I feel that. Just like you guys, man. <laughs> you can't find this stuff. How many did we find yesterday, too? Uh, yeah, we found some. We found 289 cc's at a coin shop. I'm did you really? Right. Yeah. And then... On the way up I seen one. I seen one yesterday. It was slab. Did an Anax. It was a VG clean. I could have bought the thing for like 500. Right. That's what... Right. What do you do with it? But there's still people with holes, right? Yep. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Who's just, this? It's just tough, man. I don't know what the total is. Yeah. Mind if I grab some more stuff out of here, too? Yeah. I got a coin I might add over here, actually. All right. Let me get you 50 bucks here. One second, dude. Uh, this 93? At 93? Yeah. Um, I'll buy that for what it says, 310. Alright. Oh, am I seeing anything? Grab it. Gotcha. Man, 93s, 94s, you know, it's just, it's just it's really hard. Yep. Do you know what he had on this? I, I forgot to grab that one. I apologize. The which which one? The rattler? the rattler? Yeah. I don't think he's got a price on it, but I think he would... Uh, man, what's your offer on that? 50? You, you'd pay 50 for that? Yeah. And a 63? Let me, let me ask him real quick. Okay. Mike, and, uh, no worries. That one's yours. Keep the big pieces. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I do. So I, I just do what you can. I just buy a lot of stuff when I'm running, on, running the roads and I get an opportunity to pick some stuff up. So I just say it, run a picture of that. And that was something he uh, he knew what to do. He's here. I don't know where he's capable of. I seen him. I seen him walk in. If I, I'll point him out to you. But I uh, got a lot of high end stuff. Yeah. Can you do, I'm not sure, I mean, you can't do anything, but I wanted to get like 320 for him if I could. 165 each, I wanted to get 320. Like 160 you yeah. pay 160 a piece on these? Yeah. And you're gonna pay full load on that? Yeah. Let me make sure. Yeah, I mean, have you guys, do you guys have any 16Ds? No. All right. I, I, let me show you what I got for Mercs. That'd be wonderful. 160 on these. Yeah. You see anything else until we, we can solve this one? Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's it for me for now. Thank you. Yeah, 
Wait on his slabs if he has any. Nothing jumping out, yeah. Okay. We got some slabs. I just got to get them out. Okay. Um, Casey can just wait around here, and then okay. whenever whenever they come out, no time at all. all right. Take your time. Man, so. we're good. Appreciate you helping me yes, out, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. Good to see you again. Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. Drew. Casey, Drew. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. All right. I'll shoot around, and I'll probably be buying more from you. So. See if we can track down Ron. Ron here. Okay. You got I need uh, real estate to run around at over here. And get your laps in, right? We're going to be busy, man. <laughs> and he'll run in the shop, but it's tough. Man. That's right. Anyway, we're good. All righty. It's pretty lucky, man. Not yet, right? Mind if I take a look at that uh, 64 plus when you're not busy? Uh, the tone dollar? Yes, sir. Howdy, ma'am. How are you? It's good to hear. You guys ready for a great show? About a lot of people just ready to get, you know. I think a lot of people are just ready to get out and have some fun, you know, do some stuff. Ah, uh, mainly Morgans, but. Just taking a look over here. Got a lot of nice corn, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Howdy, ma'am. Mind if I take a look at a coin real quick? It's gonna be this ADS and 63 dimple. It's gonna be the right, yeah, right. Yes, ma'am. Right on. Still working on. Um, hey, you're fine, you're fine. Look what we liked. Amen to that. Okay. There you go. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, we got those at a really... Uh, I was surprised. Some yeah. of these came in and I was like amazed. Yeah, they're the pretty place. nice. Yeah, they are. They're beautiful. Do you have any room at this one or no? Yeah, I think I do. I don't have my laptop out yet, so I can't. I can pull out. 240? Yeah, I can do 240. Okay. Appreciate you letting me take a look at all these. Let me settle up with that uh, 240 real quick. Yes, Point. Thank you, sir. Again, I appreciate it. No Make problem, sure to take care of it. Yes, sir. Enjoy the show. Hey, everybody, just got to the light box and I wanted to show you guys some great stuff that we do have. Um, uh, like I said, the show is a little bit more of a variety, and I'm very excited about that because there's just so many more things that I need to learn about as a dealer and also as a collector. So uh, let's jump into the first coin. This coin is uh, very nice. So it's 1928. Um, I bought it today because um, I thought that it had very nice eye appeal. Um, the luster is really, uh, really strong on the coin. And um, I actually have a collector that, that I'm staying with right now. He actually really likes the 28 and doesn't have one in his collection yet. And so uh, he's thinking about buying this one. And as soon as I picked it up, I knew that, uh, you know, it's a better date. Um, but also that I have a lot of people that are hunting these down right now and they want the most the best quality for stuff and what I realized is that uh, with spots like if there's a spot on a coin um, either on the front or the back most collectors won't even touch that with a 10 foot pole and so uh, what I've been working on with these is kind of been finding spot free examples um, with great luster and great eye appeal and this one came as a great contender Up next, I actually ran into more 2001 uh, Eagles today, the World Trade Center ones. They're pretty pretty awesome. Um, they've been doing pretty well for me also. 
Um, I didn't get to show you guys uh, the $5 eagle that we found today, the gold eagle in the World Trade Center uh, holder. Um, sadly, because we did sell it to a guy that is really, um, really into these. Um, and he paid top dollar for it, so I couldn't let that opportunity pass. But these are pretty unique. Um, and uh, the time just passed to really sell these for a decent profit. But I think that um, there's still a lot of collectors out there that would like the better date World Trade Center coins. And, um, you know, I think that having these is always a good thing for uh, someone that might be interested. Uh, up next, I bought, it's a little bit harder to see inside um, in this cellophane, in this cardboard, but it's a 2000 ASC um, with really nice rainbow toning. Um, I have a friend that was born in 2000. He said, you know, if you find something nice like this, uh, please message me. And I put out a post, and he messaged me within, <laughs> within like 30 seconds. And so uh, I'm so glad I was able to find something for him. Uh, he's a an avid collector and an avid dealer. So uh, it's always good to be looking out for someone that uh, is your friend. And uh, this coin, I hope, treats him well when we send it off. Up next, we're going to be taking you guys down a rattler hole. Um, I bought a few rattlers today. This is an 1884cc, graded MS62 with the CAC sticker, um, and an 1883cc. Um, hasn't been to CAC yet, I'm sure. Um, both really nice coins. Um, the thing about CCs right now is they are hot, but even hotter when they're in these rattler holders. And so that's where I've been uh, trying to find uh, a few for a few collectors. Um, I had one uh, a few weeks ago, and then I had like four or five people asking me, and uh, it sold pretty quick. And so I saw these today and I paid up for them, but I think that um, with the list that I have, I think I can fill these for a few people, so I'm pretty excited about these. Up next, I want to show you guys another Rattler that I think will gold CAC. This is a 1939 D, uh, 1939, I'm sorry, P, um, graded MS64 by PCGS. I think the coin's a 66. And for gold CAC, um, they really need to see a coin that's at least two nicks up to get a gold CAC. I think this coin is a great exception for that. I've seen coins come back 66 uh, in this condition many times, but if it receives a gold CAC, I'd be extremely happy about it. Um, it's just something that uh, I've been trying to get narrowed down and focus on because um, if you get good at doing gold CAC stuff um, or even upgrading coins, uh, you can make a lot of money doing that as well. So uh, I want to see how this one goes and I'll keep you guys updated because we're trying to film every single thing that we get run into and uh, what we're doing with every coin and I think this one, uh, its story is not over yet. And we're going to show you guys another Rattler. This Rattler is a 1922 uh, P-Star rated MS-63. Yeah, I got it for, for like 50 bucks, um, probably flip it for like 65. Um, just someone to get someone intrigued about rattlers. Um, someone's gonna hop on this quick. Uh, it's a pretty problem-free coin, uh, apart from its kind of haziness. Um, I think it, with modern-day standards, I think it'd still be a solid 63, maybe shot a 64. Um, but the luster kind of kept it from where from getting a little higher, in my opinion. But it's still a pretty uh, lovely coin, and um, I don't mind buying a rattler any day of the week. And as you've seen for our last video, we've been buying key date uh, Morgans a lot that have been raw. Got a 93cc here. Uh, this one, he said it was AG, and I don't think it's an AG. I think it's even worse than AG. Uh, it's been heavily cleaned. Um, uh, but like I said, I've, I've got four or five lists that I'm trying to work on with this stuff. And uh, if you guys ever have a list of stuff that you want me to look for, I'm always uh, available for you to send them to me. My email's in the description. Uh, you can also message me on my website, AkushaCollectibles.com, or you can reach out to me on any other platform, Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. But here are the two better kind of graded 93ccs that I've ran into. Um, someone actually messaged me today and saying, hey, I need uh, a 93cc, I need a 95s, and I need a 95o for my collection. So uh, these two uh, might be one of uh, his, his for his new collection. So I'm very happy to have people that are lined up and waiting for great coins like these. I'm going to show you guys another kind of cool toned uh, coin today. This is um, a 1929 Buffalo Nickel. Kind of an odd date that I normally don't buy. 
Um, but with this toning, I thought it was very, very nice. Um, it has like this blue and green, and it has a little bit of like a, an orange to it, probably from the original uh, luster. I think the coin, um, you know, I think it demands a little bit more just because of the color. But uh, I'm something that I just wanted to take a risk on. I don't many, buy too many buffaloes, but I um, bought it for gray sheet, and uh, I think I can get, you know, maybe 20 bucks for it, something around there. Uh, someone might want to put this in their buffalo collection uh, if they're big into toning, so uh, a pretty unique piece. Back to the Better Date Morgans. Bought a 93P 93, uh, 93 today. These have been extremely hot. I actually have a wholesaler wanting one of these. Um, but I think the luster on this coin is very, uh, pretty nice for XF. Um, it is a little beat, but the XF, uh, I mean, the XF, uh, kind of the luster to it is really nice. Um, and I, I kind of enjoy it um, in terms of just having one in my hand. I mean, I don't, I don't get to buy these too often for a good price, and so when I can, I, I do, and uh, I think that many people still are trying to look for stuff like this um, for a moderate price. You know, I think many heavy collectors uh, that, that want to fill a, a Morgan album or set, um, they might be wanting to spend, you know, three, four, five hundred bucks on a 93. They don't want to spend, you know, thousands on it. So uh, something in this middle uh, range for collectors is something that, that I try to find every day. And uh, we lucked out at this Virginia show. But let me show you guys some more coins. So for all my DMPL boys out there and PL boys out there, I found a dimple today. Um, and when you put it in the light, it's black. Um, it's really, really nice. Um, I could even see my reflection when taking a picture of it from like a uh, solid eight inches away. And I love the, the, the beautiful kind of deep and frosty feel to it, almost like you're in a refrigerator. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a really nice coin. Um, common date. Um, but I don't really have a problem uh, when it has this beautiful eye appeal to it. So, very strong coin. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I mean, I never get bored of looking at these beautiful coins like this because, I don't know, PLs just jump out to me as a, as a collector and as a dealer. So, uh, pretty unique piece. Now we're going to be jumping into some more kind of unique things. I uh, actually uh, went by a dealer's table today. He hasn't been out because of the pandemic in Virginia. Um, but I wanted to show you guys exactly what I bought from his table for actually a pretty nice price. Um, this is an 1861 three cent uh, piece. Um, it's got some a little bit of darkness to it. Um, but I bought it for a decent price, like I said. Um, and I haven't really ever handled a mint state, uh, a mint state three cent piece before. But I think that... Um, there are still people out there that are looking for something like this and it's always good to kind of test the market for you or, uh, you or your customers and see uh, maybe someone wants to add a three cent piece to their collection and uh, or maybe you can find a new buyer that would be interested in something like this. So that's kind of where uh, my, my focus was and when it's for the right price uh, I normally buy it unless it's extremely extremely ugly. But this coin I think you know it, it's it's got some some darkness to it but overall the just the detail and uh, I mean I really like the coin and I hope somebody else will like it too and we've been speaking of dimes you know how it's been with the dimes lately as well 42 over 1 graded XF40 at the same table as the uh, 3 cent piece um, just finding detail on a dime like this right now is very hard um, just because of the market that we're in the, the political climate um, that we're in as well um, people have been really uh, jumping on board of the numismatic train and for bullion and gold and everything like that has been has been on a steady incline um, for the past two years but this coin uh, came to me in that sale like I said and uh, let me show you guys another one that came out of there this is probably my favorite coin of the day um, this is an 1871 seated half seated dollar actually um, Seated dollars are extremely hard to find right now. Um, that I, what I've been seeing, I saw someone post something on Facebook recently. Um, they were like, they want an almost full retail or a little bit above, and someone was willing to pay it. And then two or three other people were like, "Dang it, I missed it." Um, so if you guys can get seated dollars right now in a straight grade that uh, have decent eye appeal, 
uh, I would hop on those because uh, there are collectors out there that, that love coins like this. And so, uh, probably my favorite coin of the day. I just, I love this coin. And uh, one day I'm going to own a mint state one. I'm going to own it and I'm going to love it. So, uh, let me set this one aside and show you guys the last few that we have. So, we have this 1926 piece dollar, graded MS65. Back again with the no spots. Um, mainly just a little bit of a coloration on the front, kind of like a blue crescent. But gem state coin, um, that's kind of what we're looking for right now for a little bit more of a common date. Um, the luster is there. It's almost a problem free coin. Uh, there's a little bit of a nick on the face. Um, the strike um, is is a little weak I'm seeing right here on, uh, on the reverse of the coin. But, uh, you know, buying a gem state coin like this, uh, you can't go wrong, and when you find it for the right deal at a show, especially in Virginia, um, and driving all this way, um, it's worth your time to uh, buy what you can, when you can, uh, stock up, and get ready for you know, either a price jump or anything that might happen in this world. Here's some more of it, probably the kind of jumping out on a limb uh, coin that I bought today. This is a 1778 uh, a, I don't know what the the mint is called in specific, but it's the A mint, uh, German Thaler. Uh, it's a Bavaria uh, coin. Um, I don't really know too much about the coin, uh, to be honest. Um, but when I looked up the the kind of the, the interesting facts about it, I looked up the the cert number. It said it's the it's the only in its population, and there's only three higher for it. So. Uh, someone that is hunting for a coin like this, um, they might have interest in it. And um, I think this coin has really nice luster for an AU coin. Um, I do think, though, it is an AU coin nonetheless because I do kind of see the circulation starting to come in on the face, a little bit on the hair, but also the, there is it's just a weaker strike in general. Um, but not many like that out there. So I thought it would be an interesting kind of pickup for me. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this part of the video. I'm um, showing you guys the whole slew of coins that we bought at the Virginia show. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, we've been working hard and trying to innovate a little bit of uh, the content on the channel. Um, please let me know if you guys have any suggestions for that. Uh, apart from that, I love if you guys who liked the video, comment what your favorite coin was. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This has been Drew, and I will see you in the next video.